yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, at Nisi Prius, yeah. Upon evidence in trespass for assault and battery, yeah. Uh, that uh, the least touching of another in anger is battery. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when you arrested me for a failure to appear, yeah. And I asked for the notice from the state of jurisdiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned to the sergeant when being arrested, uh, these handcuffs seem a little tight. Yes. And your thought was, well, I'll just tighten them up a little bit more. Pooh. Mm -hmm. By the time I got to jail, where I went to jail for 27 days. Yeah. There were huge indentations in my wrist. Yes. And I had lost the feeling in my hands. Mm. Now, maybe the jailers at that time remember when I asked, could we take a picture of the uh, numbness of my hands and the sergeant? Mm -hmm. uh, the intentional infliction of uh, battery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, uh, it's an offensive contact with a person uh, directly or indirectly when I tell you as a police officer. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the handcuffs are too tight mm -hmm. and you you intentionally tighten them yes so that when traveling from squim washington to port angeles washington uh-huh you could yes because of your anger towards me yes cause the assault and battery uh-huh now um i'm thinking i'm suing the squim police department mm -hmm. because when you issue the failure to appear yes and I didn't fail to appear. Mm -hmm. I emailed the Port Angeles Police Department about not evading going to court and how a citizen should respond. Yeah. <laughs> then when, when being uh, requested to appear in court, Clallam County Public Defender's Office. Yeah. <laughs> now, you only gave me two judicial days, and I thought for sure that my defense attorney, yeah. But you didn't. And then you watched uh, me sit there day after day. Mm-hmm. In front of the Masonic Temple, Port Angeles. Mm -hmm. And then you got paid to arrest me a second time for a crime where you did know that I hadn't committed any crime because I wasn't in Squim, Washington on December 31st, 2015. Mm -hmm. See, um, this this idea that you're going to be angry. Uh -huh. Anger, the, the least touching of another in anger is a battery. Mm-hmm. Now, for some reason, you were upset so, uh, that I, yes, had emailed. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. you kept my backpack in Squim, Washington. Yes. I had to go back to the scene of the crime when I got out of jail. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then um, you had to uh, teach me a lesson. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I'm wanting to sue you today, yes, for the tort damages mm -hmm, of intentionally uh -huh, tightening the handcuffs on me, yes, when transporting me from school to Port Angeles. Mm -hmm. See, it would have been so much easier if you'd just given me the warrant for my arrest. Yeah. <laughs> and since I communicated every day by email, so, um, there's obviously some anger on the part of law enforcement. Mm-hmm. Now, I know that Port Angeles' police department said, well, we just can't talk to him. But the warrant for my arrest was issued, yes, from Judge Porter. Oh, and um, making me have to take the bus back to Squim to get my backpack after getting out of jail after the fraud of the mental health evaluation. Yeah. I think there's some very angry police officers today. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you had a degree in criminology. <laughs> When you go to the police academy, do they charge you any tuition to go there, or is that something that they pay for? Yes. Why don't you get me all the educational institutions, yes, of every person in law enforcement, every sheriff, yes, all of the FBI, inclusive of the FBI academy? <laughs> it seems that we're paying, yes, as a, a nation, yes, to educate law enforcement, <laughs> And then when I email the Seattle Police Department, just get me the educational degrees of every police officer in the police department. Pew!
Every sheriff in every county of the state of Washington. Oh, all the sheriffs in the National Sheriff Association. Yes. And then there's the Fraternal Order of the Chiefs of Police. Yes, the Fraternal Order of Police. <laughs> I just wanted to know, of all the institutions right now mm -hmm, that you yourselves are graduates of, yes, how many of them have campus security and how many of them do know, yes, as a requirement of state and federal funding, let's go ahead, that they have an obligation to report to law enforcement mm -hmm, the fraud of violating the requirements of the VAWA, yes, the knowledge of any hate crime, oh, oh, you know, for every officer of the law in all of the United States, ooh, there's a possibility that I can sue your alma mater. Yes, and we won't graduate any person in criminology unless they pay me an additional fee for the credits that they take. Yes, so they never fucking forget right now. Now, just get me the academic degrees of all of those in the FOP. Oh, the Fraternal Order of the Chiefs of Police. Oh, every sheriff and every sheriff association. And all of those that are graduates of the FBI's academy, yes, because the way that I see this right now, I see it right now, I see it. 